It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 30 on second down, Stafford. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Jefferson really grew into the deep threat L.A. needed as it ramped up its passing attack, averaging a cool 16 yards per catch. One of the best marks in the league and helping the Rams earn a ring. Back at it again, 2022, picking up a first down with a big play. They'll get this one to cop complete. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. Going right back to Akers. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Vaughn Miller, he was the one getting in there, able to wreak his usual havoc. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six, now second and four. Allen going to throw. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. That one, a first down pickup of eight. To throw it's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis and brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. 
Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. Here's a throw-out line complete to his running back right side. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. From the 25 on second down, Allen. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 15-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Finding Knox there, complete. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn up field and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. Here we go now on first and goal. And again, it's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs there to make the grab. And the Bills are on the board first on the road here in L.A. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams' offense at the line. And incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Stafford. 
And he's got this to Jefferson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run on first down with Akers, and he'll be taken down at about the 45. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a play fake, and at Stafford. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. And Buffalo fans are hoping to see a lot more of that in his second season. Just four sacks in his rookie year, but the potential for double digits is exactly why Buffalo took him 30th overall in 2021. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, well, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll dump this off to Akers. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so and whether it's the script whether it's you know just what they're going through whether they're seeing different defenses they're gonna have to figure it out as this game moves on over the middle complete it's davis that'll give them eight that time and they'll be left with second and a couple one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, here's a run with Singletary, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On first down, Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one come back and get him the next time from midfield here's Allen escaping the pressure right and Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end they'll get nine out of that one and as a result the drive continues well here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm but he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 
Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember, feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Being chased out left. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Allen now on third and goal. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Jamison Crowder from four yards out. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first and 10, Stafford trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. 
from the 27. Stafford, and this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet, flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Stafford now to throw. Man open, it's Cup. he's got it. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A give up the middle to Akers. And he'll go down at the 28. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Throwing is Stanford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On the handoff, it's Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. From the 17, Stafford. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. On first down at Stafford. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. 
And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing on third down, Stafford. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Gay's kick is good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. This taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. And Diggs has it. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Allen now looks to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Allen to throw it. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A gain of eight there on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap, 
to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up a great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. Well, the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Second down and three. To throw is Stafford. Throws to his man on the out route. It's complete. That's Robinson. A couple of vets. Stafford to Robinson there. First down Rams. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Stafford here. Throw left side, complete to come. And he will have a first down as they're into field goal range now at the 30. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Stafford. Complete Jefferson the target. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams field goal. And Gay knocks this one through, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. And that's when this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. On second and 12, Allen. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Aaron Donald bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving him exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. 
A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On the give, this is Akers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Stafford on first down. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Gregory Russo able to bring him down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Stafford. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Akers will score. Touchdown, L.A. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 21-17.
After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Allen going to throw. Dancing to his left. Allen, nifty footwork. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Aaron Donald. Make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. From midfield, here's Allen. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. To the air, Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. And Bobby Wagner, the all-pro, in on the tackle. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Allen. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Let's go, baby. Let's help. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Now Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills are in for six. 
circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion well let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive away The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Throwing again on second down. Stafford, that's complete to his tight end, Higby. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Second down and eight. On the ground, it's Akers. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 30. 43 yards on the ground for him so far. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll go again here with Akers. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. 
Again, it'll be Akers. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Now Stafford on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Gay's kick is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the 31, Allen. This one caught by Davis. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, good move. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. They will find Davis. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Allen. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Here's Allen on first and 10. And Diggs has it. And another juke. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Operating from the red zone now. Allen, Crowder's got it over the middle. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. 
Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, it's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first and 10, Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, Stafford here. Throw left side, complete to Cup. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now Stafford. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And able to find Higby. It's complete. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. To the air again, Stafford. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. To throw on second and ten, Stafford. This is caught by Robinson. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. 
A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. Again, at Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying... And he's got it. That's Cup for a Ram touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy who tried to tackle him. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. On second down, here's a run with Moss. Now a timeout called for by the defense, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. And it looks 
like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So it's a win here for the Bills. And this one, Charles, just too much Josh Allen. Yeah, there's no question who the star of this game was. What a performance throwing the football. Over 300 yards, four touchdown passes. That's quarterbacking at an elite level.